Hi everyone! Today we're going to take a look at the best CPU coolers in the market for this year. First, we're going to show you our top 10 best picks, and we'll talk about what you look for before buying a CPU coolers. You can find links to all of the products we've mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Noctu NHD15. High quality components, excellent cooling, and amazing noise control. The Noctu NHD15 is one of the few air coolers that can actually match up to the cooling power of a closed loop liquid cooler. And it does so without putting a hole in your wallet. Setting up and installing the cooler is incredibly simple as it will easily fit on any AMD socket and accepts all Intel sockets released after 2011, including the LGA 2011. The cooling is provided by two Noctu NF15 140mm fans, installed in a standard two-fan push-pull configuration. And there's the option to add a third fan as well. The fans come with automatic speed control and won't grab up until your CPU needs the extra speed, thus keeping system noise to a minimum when not under load. When under load, the fans can hit speeds up to 1500 RPMs to help keep your system cool. And all of this happens while keeping the sound levels under 24.6 dBA. And if you install the low noise attachment included, the noise levels go further downwards to just 19.2 dBA. The NHD15 measures 165M x 150M x 161 height, width, and depth. There is also an impressive six-year limited warranty on this cooling unit. Overall, if you're looking for one of the CPU coolers on the market, and you prefer an air cooler over a custom liquid cooling setup or an AO, then the Noctua NHD15 is an option we'd recommend considering. Moving on to the next at number 2 with NZXT Kraken X73. The NZXT Kraken X73 is an excellent option for anyone who has a large budget and is looking into a case that can hold a 360 radiator. It also comes with three NZXT Air P radiator fans that can operate between 1600-2800 RPM and it is a bunch of RGB lighting options. NZXT clearly stands by their Kraken series AOs as they all come with six-year warranties, which is longer than all of the other AO coolers on this list. This 360M AO cooler also comes with longer tubing that will help you fit it inside larger full tower cases, and it is compatible with all modern Intel and AMD sockets. The Kraken X73 does come in at a premium, though costing a little under tilde $160. That's pretty much to be expected for a 360 mayo, though. But if you don't have the budget, or you'd rather get a more affordable 208M or 204M option, you probably will lose too much cooling performance overall. The number three position is held by EVGA CLC 280. Despite the fact that Evga's CLC series is the company's first attempt at producing an AO liquid cooler, They've done an exceptional job of delivering three coolers that can compete with companies who have been making closed-loop coolers for years. EVGA offers their closed-loop coolers in sizes of 208M, 204M, and 120M. The coolers didn't originally come with support for M for motherboards right out of the box, but they do now come with M for brackets. So, if you do want to use these coolers on a Ryzen-based build, you can definitely do so. In terms of cooling performance, the 208M option does offer the best thermals. However, if you are working with a case that doesn't support a 208M radiator, the 204M option will work well. Also, like the other top AO coolers out there, Evga's CPU blocks contain Evga's logo, and it is RGB friendly. And if you have an EVGA graphics card with RGB lights, you can actually sync the two items together. Ultimately, in our review of Evgis 208M AO, we determined that they offer some of the best price to performance in liquid cooling currently on the market. Next at number 4, we have Arctic 34 Sports. The Arctic Freezer 34 Sports is our choice for the best value air CPU cooler currently on the market. For just under $50, you get an insanely quiet air CPU cooler that comes with dual 120M fans that can operate in a range of 200 to 1800 RPM. The design of the Arctic Freezer 34 Sports is also worth noting as not all air coolers are as nice looking as this bad boy is. The heatsink itself is all black and the fans are also all black, but come with either white, yellow, green, or red accents. 
at 4.8 x4.0 x5.9, this air cooler is a bit on the bulky side. However, it is compatible with most RAM heatsinks and in most mid-tower or larger cases. Arctic also offers an insane 10-year warranty on the Freezer 34 sports cooler. While air coolers do typically last a long time, most companies don't back their products with that long of a warranty. As an example of that, the next highest warranty on this list is 6 years, the Noctu NHD 15. Overall, if you're looking for a really good value air CPU cooler that looks nice, performs well, and is backed by an incredibly long warranty, then the Arctic Freezer 34 Sports Edition cooler is the option for you. The number 5 position is held by CM Master Liquid M120. If you're looking for a budget-friendly AO cooler, the Cooler Master Master Liquid M120 is worth checking out. At just under $70, it is one of the cheapest 120M AO coolers on the market. And while 120M coolers typically lag behind even moderately priced air coolers, they do offer some unique features that make them worth considering over an air cooler. First, many prefer the aesthetics of AO coolers over bulky air coolers. And secondly, for anyone looking to build a mini gaming PC and are limited on how tall of a CPU cooler you can put in your build, a smaller AO cooler might end up being your only option. So, if either of those scenarios apply to you, a budget-friendly 120M AO cooler like the Cooler Master Master Liquid M120 is an excellent option. Along with its low-profile design and solid cooling capabilities, it also comes with an RGB fan and an RGB block to help you system stand out. Ultimately, though, no 120M AO cooler is going to offer extreme cooling performance. However, they provide adequate cooling in a compact design at an affordable price. So, if that's what you're looking for, the M120 is a great option. The number 6 position is dominated by EKO Basic 240. In the world of liquid cooling, EK is a name that needs little introduction. The EK Basic series focuses on value for money and performance. Plus, it doesn't feature any RGB at all. If this appeals to you, then the EKO Basic 240 is well worth a look. Its absence sure helps to keep the pricing down too. The EK Basic 240 really stands out thanks to its build quality. It just feels hefty and well-built. The included Ek Varder fans are very good and have a wide operating speed range. It's good to have some high-speed headroom on tap if you need it. Most of the time, it stays essentially silent. What really impresses us is the cooling performance on offer. We find it goes very close to 360 levels of cooling capability. It does get noisy if you try to push an overclocked Rocket Lake CPU, but then pretty much every other cooler does too. The EKO Basic 240 is perfect for builds with a stealthy focus or closed case build where lighting doesn't matter. With its build quality and high performance, it's a cooler that you can surely set and forget out of sight, out of mind, and out of earshot. Moving on to the next and number 7 with Deepcool Gamax L240 V2. Deepcool is well known for its capable AOS at affordable prices, and the Gamax L240 V2 is one of the cheaper 200 Fordham coolers on the market. That makes it a great option for users looking to step up from air cooling into the world of AO cooling. The Gamax 200 Fordham features basic RGB lighting on the pump head and fans. There's a more expensive ARC version, should you really want it. Deepcool likes to talk about its anti-leak technology which seeks to maintain an optimal pressure balance inside the loop which certainly can hurt. The Gamax 240 is capable of cooling most processors, too. Though like many of the chip chillers on this list, it draws the line at AMD's Threader per Beast. But it keeps the rest running with remarkably low noise levels, which is one of the main reasons we recommend it. At idle, the L240 is effectively silent. As you'd expect, you will start to see an increase in temperatures and noise levels with high TDP processors, especially when overclocking. Our 5800 CPU with PBO enabled is about the maximum we consider appropriate for a 200 Fordham cooler. Under load, the fans can and do ramp up quite a bit. If you're after a 200 Fordham AO that's inexpensive and quiet under less demanding loads, then the Deepcool Gamex L240 is a great choice. Sure, its noise levels can get high if you push it hard, but at this price it comes highly recommended. The number 8 position is held by Corsair Hydro Series H60 V2. The Corsair H60 has been around for some time. Over the years, it's seen its tubing, fan, pump, and mounting upgraded. 
The 120M AO form factor won't suit everyone, but those who require a compact cooler to suit something like a small volume ITX build will find it can perform as well as a decent mid-range air cooler. Notably, it lacks RGB, though there is some white lighting around the head. The H60 V2 is well suited to processors under about the 95 level. Sure, it will be beaten out by a decent tower cooler oh, with a larger radiator, but their dimensions often ruled them out of SFF builds. Heat is the enemy of an SFF system, so the H60's ability to eject hot air outside the case will benefit the whole system. Corsair includes its SPPWM fan, which operates at speeds of between 600 RPM, at which level it really is silent up to 1700 RPM. It becomes clearly audible at that point. The Corsair H60 V2 is perfect for a compact system. It's affordable and should outperform most low-profile air coolers and doing so without having to resort to unreasonable noise levels. It won't suit a high-core count or overclocked processor, but then you shouldn't expect it to. With the right partnering components, it's an easy recommendation. Next at number 9, we have Deepcoolest 500 Plus. The Deepcoolest 500 received worthy attention when it was released, but the S500 Plus with its additional fan elevates it to the point where it can compete with any single tower cooler on the market. At the same time, it undercuts competitors in price. There aren't many dual fan ARG supporting coolers at this price. Even if you spend double the money on a premium single tower cooler, your cooling performance won't be a lot better. Its cooling ability belies its compact dimensions. Only more expensive dual tower coolers beat it, and even then, not by a whole lot. Its dual fan design no doubt helps. It's also surprisingly quiet. Even when pushed hard, the cooler doesn't get excessively loud. Cooling and low noise levels are welcome. Then add to that great build quality and subtle art good looks, and there's nothing to complain about. It even comes with its own art controller, and there's a wide version too if you like. The D Coolest 500 Plus punches above its weight and price. It cools very well, it stays quiet, it's got great build quality, a subtle ARG splash with its own controller, and on top of all that. And, finally, it is great value relative to many dual fan single tower coolers. Short of stressing it with a heavily overclocked high-end processor, the S500 Plus ticks all the boxes. Highly recommended. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Be Quiet, Pure Rock 2. If the brand name didn't already give it away, the Be Quiet Pure Rock 2 really is quiet. It's a single tower cooler equipped with the company's highly regarded Pure Wings 2 PWM fan which carries a low 26.8 dB, a noise rating. That means it's very quiet indeed. It feels really solid too. An indicator of good build quality and it comes in at a low price. We wouldn't describe the Pure Rock 2 as the most beautiful cooler on the market. But if you do have a window case, you could consider the black version which is certainly more attractive than the plain aluminium finish of the base version. The Pure Rock 2 is primarily designed to cool unseen and unheard. It's rated to cool CPUS with a 150 TDP. Though perhaps this is a touch optimistic, but that's down to the CPU manufacturers and their real TDPS. An Intel Core if of 11,600 or AMD Ryzen 7 5800 won't present a problem for the Pure Rock 2. For anything other than high-end CPUS, the Pure Rock 2 will keep your chip cool and quiet. If you're not interested in bling and want something that's a step up from bundled coolers, the Pure Rock 2 is a fantastic choice. It will cool out of sight, mind, and earshot. That's all for today. We upload computer and accessories product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.